guys welcome back again and on today's tutorial we want to look at taking off quantities of a superstructure works so we have substructure works those are the works that are beneath and then we have superstructure works those are the works that are above the floor level as in if you look at this section here that you've been given this is where we have our ground level and then so from this point upwards whatever we have is superstructure works so this superstructure works let's look at the plan that we have so we have the we have the columns the rc columns we have the rc beams and then we have the rainwater goods and then we have the we have the rc slab this one here and then we have the 100 millimeters high asphalt scatting we have the 100 millimeters diameter outlet we have the concrete wall that is on top and then we have marble chippings we have 200 millimeters asphalt so that one and then we have the screen that is 40 millimeters and then we've been given the we've been given the we've been given the the height so this is a, this is the column here so we have the height of the column from this point up to this point is 2800 and then we have the beam here this is our beam here it's it's as a, a depth of 200 and then after the beam we have our slab which is 125 by 200 millimeter stick rc slab so we want to look at the how we are going to measure these items so we are going to start with the items that we are going to measure so we are going to group the columns the beams and the slab that and the wall that is the formwork and the concrete and then we go to the screed then we go to the asphalt chippings we go to the coppings we go to drain water goods and then finally we finish with the with the outlet now let's start with the formwork let's start with formwork for the columns so this is our column so meaning at this point here we have a column at this point you have a column at this point you have a column at this point you have a column here 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 and and there so our columns are one two three four five six seven eight nine so we have nine columns and then the size of the column we've been told is 200 by 200 i'll see column so our column is 200 by 200 and then we need to find formwork because we are going the con the the sorry the the column is rc so we need the we need the formwork for so that it can be able to hold the it to hold the concrete now we said our size is 200 by 200 the height you've seen is 2800 and there are nine in in number now for us to get the formwork we'll have the size we'll have the we'll have the size of the no sorry this is not formwork this is this is concrete this is concrete <coughs> And then we'll do the formwork. So the size of the column is 200 by 200. The height is 800, and there are 90 numbers. Now we book the volume of the concrete. So we need the length, the width, and the height. And then we multiply by nine. And then we say VRC in one is to two is to four in 20 millimeters aggregates in the in the columns. Now we go to the beams. Let's find concrete in the beams. So these are our beams here. So these we've been shown this is the beam here and this is also a beam now we need we need to know the length of the beam so from this point so after we have our column on top we are going to have our our beam so our beam starts from this point here up to this point from up to this point up to this point so we need the length and the width so for the length we'll have eight four 200 plus 4000 plus 200 plus 4000 plus 200 and then for the width it will have 200 plus that 500 plus 200 plus that 500 plus plus 200 so that is our length and width so for the longer side we have 8.60 and then remember the size of the beam is 200 by 200 so that is 0 0.2 by 0 0.2 and there are two sides so we have this side we have this side of 86 100 and this side also of 86, 
8600. So we multiply by by 2. Now let's look at the the other side, this side here. here. Where we have to, so 200 plus that 5 plus 200 plus that 5 plus 200. So that gives that gives us 7400. So here is 7400 and then here is also 7400 and then this one is also 7400. So we have 74, 74, and 74. Sorry, the 8600, they are, they are not true. They are also 3, 1, 2, 3. So we'll rectify that one. So we proceed. So we have, so these ones are also 3. So the one, the other one is 76 by 0 0.2 by 0 0.2. And we have seen, we have seen they are, they are, are how many are they? We have one, two, three. So they are, they are three. So we multiply by three, and then we say data button in the beams. Now we proceed to the to the slab. So once we have our beam, on top of the beam, we are going to have our our concrete, our concrete. So that is our beam. If that is our beam, so on top of the beam, we are going to have our our slab. So we need the we need the length and the width it for us to get the volume of the of the slab. So we say ditto but in in 125 millimeters slab. Now we proceed to form work. We are going to start with the column. So for our column, if this is our column, this side is 200, this side is 200, meaning the other side is also 200 and the other side is also 200 because it's a it's a square like that, so it has four four sides. So and the height is 2800. So we are going to take one side, this side, by the height, and then we multiply by four sides. So this is 0 0.20 by 2.8 for one side, and then how many sides do we have? Four. We multiply by four, and then how many columns did we have? Nine. So we multiply by nine columns, and then we say Swan timber formula to the vertical sides of the vertical sides of the column. Now we proceed to the beam. We've been told our beam is size 200 by by 200. So meaning this side is 200, and then the the width is also the depth is also 200. Now for us to get form work of this beam, we are going to open this timber. Remember, this is a timber that is going to hold this form work. So we need to open it. So when we open it, we are going to have 200 plus 200 plus 200. So that gives us 600. And then our length and width still remains the same, 8600 by 7600 for the entire, for the entire, for the entire section. Now, where we have 8600, our length will be 8600. And then our, our timber depth will be 600 or with it will be 600 so we are going to multiply it 8.60 by 6.0 and then remember we had how many of these we had three of them and then for the seven we have 7.60 and 0 0.60 by also three and then we say swan timber to the soffits and sides of the of the beam now let's go to the slab so for our slab now for the formwork remember we have where we have the column this point here we have the column and then this point here has been taken by the slab also this one has been taken by the column and this one has also been taken by the slab and this one by the column so what is remaining for the soffit of that slab is this part here which is 4000 and 4000 and then this part here that 500 and that 500 so this part here is where we are going to where i've placed the x is where we need form work for the for the soffit of the slab so it's going to be 4000 by that 5 because they are equal and then we multiply by the number they are 1 2 3 4 so we are going to have 4000 by that 5 and then multiply by 4 and then we give the description of that of that column so we are going to say 4.00 by 3.50 by 4 then we say ditto but to the soffits of the of the suspended slab so that marks the end of our part one so when we come back for part two we are going to look at the wall and then concrete in the wall and the, then the formwork and then we go to the screed choppings asphalt chippings choppings rainwater goods and then we finish with the outlet thank you guys for your time kindly remember to subscribe share and don't forget to leave a comment so 